Good morning everyone. Um, today I'm going to be touching up this painting. Uh, I had a lot of difficulty with it when I was using the airbrush. I've been priming some canvases that I'm reusing and I made a mistake with this one and my final coat was just a base layer of plain white acrylic paint and I don't know if it wasn't completely dry but I had quite a bit of areas that cracked and did not get really good coverage. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and try and get a better, so you can see the areas right there. Um, so we're gonna move this a little bit. So in this area, you can see it's very cracked. It did not fill in. Uh, I ended up scraping some of the painting and redoing it and when I scraped in this area I removed that layer of white paint that um, was not setting well and this area dried nice and smooth without that white paint underneath and the areas that had the white paint dried very rough and cracked. So next time I'll just have to be careful when I'm priming. Uh, like I said I don't know if it was just not completely dry yet but it definitely made a difference um, with how the painting turned out. I also think my paint was a little bit too thin for this, so next time I'll just have to uh, thicken it up a tiny bit. I do like to keep it thinner for this technique because I'm using that airbrush to push the paint around and it's not as uh, strong as a hairdryer. So, I don't want it to be too strong. So you can change the setting on the airbrush to have different pressure when you're using it. So I could increase the airflow, but I also don't want it to um, be too much. And I like having the control with the airbrush. So I'm gonna keep it on a lower pressure setting. But what I'm gonna do today is try and fix some of these areas that uh, cracked and that you can see a lot of the canvas underneath. So just using uh, some of my colors, I used um, Blue Violet by Joe Sonia. Uh, it's a really pretty blue shade. I also used Dioxazine Purple. So it's just a normal purple that you can get uh, pretty much any brand. I also have magenta, and this one is a Windsor & Newton acrylic, and then I just have um, some titanium white paint. So as you can see, I use quite a few different brands of paint. I don't stick with just one. I would say right now with colors, Joe Sonia is probably one of my favorites. But I do have um, a couple of different sizes of paint brushes to fill in the areas. I may also grab a sponge and of course you can use your fingers. Uh, I like blending with my hands. I feel like I have a little bit more control on what I'm doing. But I really want to fill in this area here. Uh, I'm going to clean up this white a little bit. You can see uh, where it's not even. I can see where it's not even and so I want to add some white and then uh, just touch up a few of the colors and kind of bring out some of that richness of um, each of those colors that I used. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'm definitely really liking the airbrush technique and I think that's one that I'm going to stick with. I like the control that I have and I like the way that it blends the paint. It is slightly different from um, using the hair dryer. So I'll start working on this and I'm going to add some music to the video because I probably won't do a lot of talking going forward, but I'll just show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. <laughs> 